Let's go. We're back and it's time to murder our parents. <laughs> the usual fun things that happen in, in uh, this video game. Hmm, this can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when we talked to her about their new place too. Hmm, what's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The templates on the doors. Did they go with dad's name or mom's? Uh, dad's name, right? But why would it, ch why would they change that at this point? Hmm, I don't know, to throw us off. You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's look for the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Aha, here we go. D d don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Uh, whatever, let's just find a way in. Ooh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Uh, doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. Ooh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Oh. Surprisingly, uh, heavy rocks. You check under the flower pot, and a key. Not, oh. There's fuck all under the flower pot. Well, how rude game. All right, is, we're gonna climb up with it. Let's go. Uh, still too high. Uh, lift me up. Well? Uh, no good, it's open, but it's held in place by a latch uh, that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. Rip. This is where we need the gun. We, we wasted all the bolts in the gun. Now we'll never be able to shoot the window open. Oh, that's probably one of the sticks, right? You got a stick. Oh, the carrots. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me a hand, I'll pull you up. Uh, thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Damn. Renovations are afoot. There's no water in the toilet bowl. Oh, I'm gonna still use Emma shit in that dry bowl. They can't stop me now. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you. Not so fast. Huh? Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Boo boo. Wrong. Try again. Uh. Exceptionally well done. That was a an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door with so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your abilities to trespass. May I come in now? Let's go. You may. Hmm, great. Then uh, let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our uh, situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good. Then, uh, tell me later. Hmm. Alright, grandmother, where's your jewelry? It's the phone, uh, your mother never calls you with. Let's go! Forever abandoning us. The dresser is locked. And it's still locked from that side, too. Oh, the prints have been having a smashing performance on the bed. The toys and. Oh. Uh, you close the closet. Bro, our parents are getting kinky with their rope. A fire pit? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes? This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? Uh, it's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Uh, fuck if I know. Uh, the house is actually ancient. Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty, it's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Those textbooks are ashes now. Let's go, Arson. 
Oh, we just surprise anyone who's standing outside the door. We're like, we are here. Let's see, where, where, where are we going in this house? Oh, maybe the fridge. Is our mom also a cannibal? Now notice how there aren't any photos of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. Well, it's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? Guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Agreed to that. <laughs> right. Maybe that's it. They're supposed to say I'm pretty. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. What is to rob in this place? That is the... Oh, I didn't even notice that there were stairs here. I am stupid. Uh, your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff, and there's a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue, and the extra bed implies that there are no issues in their social life either. Christmas stuff, mostly candles, Christmas decorations, string lights, Christmas lights, is that a key I see? Documents, purchasing a house, there's also a key, dresser key, let's go! Metal box full of screwdrivers. The working toilet. Dirty laundry. Cleaning supplies. Tumble dryer, your parents are living it up. How dare they live it up while I'm living here without uh, robbing them. Oh, you found the key, nice. Uh, what's in there? There's no sight of any jewelry, but you do spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Miss Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come and discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. Uh, what the hell is this? I guess that explains why your mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting calls from a ghost. That's, uh... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you had wasted all our bullets. L like we'd shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi, Mom. It's just us. Hello, Mother. Welcome home. Andrew, what are you doing here? Surprise, uh, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's uh, my day off, I was just shopping. How did you two get inside? Uh, you left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Uh, did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Just like nothing ever happened. Uh, thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. Uh, how about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me, uh, just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll go make some coffee. We can give the mom a, uh... <laughs> Less goblin voice here. It'll probably just be Ashley part two electric boogaloo He's putting away groceries Meat wine looks like your parents had a night planned you brew some coffee hm. So I saw the fire on the news what happened And what do you care? Yeah. Well first we got evacuated after that they gave us the go-ahead to leave since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh, interesting. On the news they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story to sell more. Uh, anyway, here we are now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, <laughs> you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ah, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? Hmm, perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. 
Huh, but you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. Hmm, it's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? Haha! -ha. The rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Because it's time to slice. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so uh, I really need to start making some dinner. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go uh, rest? I'll fix us something. Uh, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. We're Andrew. It's cooking time. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking for you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then, make something, you smooth talker you. First, uh, inside the freezer's meat. Probably make something out of that. You browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this, you can go do whatever. I I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. You push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Simple soup. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Chop everything up, boil in a pot. What? We can't turn around, we can't turn around to, to hug. Alright, so I guess probably go out into the garden. Somehow get locked out and are like two seconds outside. Hmm, how nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Ah, come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this. Now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Uh, let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure something out, alright? Uh, you get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Carrots! And now we need onions. Delicious, delicious onions. Ooh, mom's purse, a bit of cash, let's go! It's nowhere, no nowhere near enough for you. Here we are just robbing while we uh, cook dinner. Just curious, uh, did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Uh, yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Mm, Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something's up. Spit it out. Ah, uh, I have something to tell you. But first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Ugh, stop being annoying, what is it? Ah, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Ugh. No, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the, the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try and tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Uh, let me think about it first. What's there to think about? Hello. Hey kids, it's good to see ya. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Ooh, that was a riveting conversation. Where, uh, what did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Uh, could you two clean up? He leaves without waiting for an answer. 
they're trying to get kinky in the bedroom without us. How could they? <sighs> it can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable it is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us in, on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But those were documents. But were those documents even official? Well then. Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off not off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What? what You're all about being so careful. And when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. Uh, you know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me like it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Da 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 Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Ah, uh, fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Ha, <sighs> funny. Because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Uh, da, 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 da. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me too to rot? You clearly don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Oh, it's arguing time, Thunderdome. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. Dot, dot, dot. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Dun, dun, dun. It's n now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If, if we're leaving here anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no reason for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Mom's like, <laughs> What are you two whispering about? N nothing Did you, uh, need something? Just like peas in a pod. Hmm? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with? Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep you... keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. Mom's so grumpy. And it should probably be two separate places. Grumpy. 
That's w that's a tall order after our earthly possession just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. All right. Good night. Good night. Dot 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 dot. Well, aren't you going to bed? Ah, uh, I'm not that tired yet, so. You are under my roof now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh. Sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Damn. Going to sleep is the worst. I can completely uh, agree with that. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Sleepy time. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness not, but the flesh doth I possess to be present unto thee. All ghosts are appearing required to speak uh, like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to compartmentalize. We can compartmentalize slightly further, and then we will uh, end this episode shortly after. This freezer isn't full of human meat. Hello, dream demons. We got a limb. We got another limb. Is this what it feels like to compartmentalize with your demons? We got a limb. Can we go up that way? I want to go get the pan. Here it is. The pan is empty. Oh, right. Ashley already cooked one. Dun, 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 dun. The door has no handle, nor will it budge. The candle holder is empty. Oh. There it is. It's missing candles. Are we just gonna carp compartmentalize about the, uh, the sleeping child? What are you doing here? I... Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Ugh, forget this. Oh, let's go, we've gained one more Lele. Stop following me, you little shit. Ha ha. Ha 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 Ooh, let me get that. Lele places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Another one? Ooh. They sure dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Okay, great. Hand them over. Ha! No way. I, those are two very extreme options. Ask nicely or kill. We'll ask nicely. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Uh, just eat it then? That way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candles anymore? It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. Okay, whatever. There's nothing to light. So can we light this one then? You use your lighter to light the candle. Ah, we gained a room. That has a candle. I believe. Oh, we're making it there. They just wanted to bait us with that. So what do you want to play today? Uh, nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Uh, just draw then. I don't... Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Ugh. Well, if I nick myself, I can't get red. Uh, I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. 
Um, <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. And one of them is our closet demon. Got coloring pencils. Julia? You've been, uh, quiet all day. What's up? No, no, it's, uh, nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately, but I don't know if I should bring it up. With, uh, this much build-up, you kind of have to now. Ah, uh, well, okay, but please don't get mad. When have I ever, uh, once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day, and she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it's better for Ashley to learn some independence, even if it's just for her own sake, you know? Ugh. And maybe for our sake, too? I think it would be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Uh, sorry. But I, I, I'm not reprimanding you. I, I can't make her learn anything, though. N no but you could, like, uh, you know, not, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asked me if she actually needs something. I suppose. So sorry maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up at all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I, I, I don't really get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that? No, no nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about uh, something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. Uh, I can't let either of you out of my sight. Haha. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Dot 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 dot. Would you tie up your hair for me? Oh, oh heck no, you pull on it again. Haha. <laughs> ah. Uh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Oh, that's kind of kinky. Uh, or just awful. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't uh, been that long. I just kind of forgot about her and all the ca with all the chaos going on. Hello, demon. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Ashley, I know you're in there, you little shit. Collection of photos. Ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you wouldn't be uh, up there anymore. Crash is full of letters, mostly death threats. I wonder who's causing them, little demon. Can I go down and talk to a little fucking demon? I'm gonna take that as a no. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? Uh, I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully, as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. Wah, boo. You suck. Got a candle. I lately is focused on drawing. You placed and lit the candle. Hmm. Uh, hello. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this was... This one was always leering at her. Never mind, there is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. The Hitman. Uh, this one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted to kill you badly enough to hire this guy. Ashley in the closet. Ah, uh, there you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. 
It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, what do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. Hmm, that's true. Oh, she just lives in the closet. Uh, so are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming out. Suit yourself. Oh. Severed limb. Well met, young graves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was constructed, consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust, perchance it may cook, but to burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. Okay. Thee possesses the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance tis of little consequence to thee. I, I sure hope I don't have to talk to this guy for too much longer. This reminds you of something. Oh, the child. Dot, 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 dot. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh. <laughs> Rise and shine, Nina. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you have fun last night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh. I guess she's still sleeping. And we will find out what happens to that sleeping child on the next episode. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone that came out and any new party members that joined us today. My name is Haven, and I will see you in the next one, where we are in the chest all along. <laughs>